Hi, this is George Alger with the Two Green Energy Video Report. And once again, I'm speaking with Craig Shields, who's the author of Renewable Energy Facts and Fantasies. Welcome, Craig. Hi, George. All right, so we're going to continue our series of segments regarding uh, business plans for renewable energy. And today I want to uh, talk about uh, this idea of paper being made from sugar cane waste as a, as a, you know, as a business concept. Yes. Yes, as I mentioned before, I support, in, on average, about 20 great business plans. I look at, at hundreds of these things in the course of a given month, and I don't like most of them, to be honest with you, but I like some of them, and some of them I'm just bananas about. Uh, and the ones that I really think have the most promise, I distribute to a network of investors that are, are some venture capitalists, some angels, some institutional investors who simply wanted exposure to the upside of renewable energy. And uh, to uh, answer your question, one of the ones that I like the best uh, is a, an organization based in the United States who imports paper that's made 70% from sugarcane waste called bagasse, 30% from post-consumable uh, consumer waste uh, from India. So they have an exclusive relationship with the government of India to import and sell this into the United States. So it doesn't use trees. So it's pretty exciting stuff. Okay, so I can see the benefits from a sustainability point of view. I mean, there's already this waste there. All yes, right? exactly. Um, so it seems intuitively a good idea, but you must be looking at many other factors when you say this is something that I want to get funding for. Well, yes. First of all, this is a guy who has customers. And this is a guy who has revenues. This is, not a pre, this is not a guy with an idea. This is a guy with an idea with a, an enormous network of business contacts who are champing at the bit to buy this stuff from him. So he imports it. The reason he needs funding is not to do something esoteric to prove out an idea or to build a prototype or you know, develop customers. Um, he needs uh, funding for inventory. In other words, he, he needs to be, he's got distribution centers all over the United States that simply kind of ex run out of inventory before he can fill these things up with product from India. So this is, uh, he's, his customers love him. Um, he's, got, uh, he's got everything in place to m blow the roof off this. And he, he, there are people from the great, the huge paper companies in the United States, some of whom have said, this is the future of paper. So that's kind of shocking to have somebody who spent 40 years in the paper industry who's saying this subject is the entire future. This is where this whole thing is going. So that's pretty strong stuff, if you ask me. Wow. All right. Yeah, I would say that's a pretty strong opportunity right there. So mm -hmm. if someone else was looking at not only this, this particular kind of idea for a business, any business, you've really touched on an important point. Get the business moving and you're yes. going to be much more desirable to anyone who wants to give you money. That's exactly right. Some of the business, oh, as a matter of fact, that is one of the common denominators of the entrepreneurs who are behind the businesses that I like. They're not sitting around moaning about the fact that there's a recession and there's a trillion dollars of it in private capital sitting on the sidelines that should be active, you know, cleaning up the planet. Of course it should be, but it isn't. So the, the people who are going to win in this thing are not not the whiners. They are the people who are out there making this happen. And this guy is a fantastic example of that, but so are some of the others. There, there's the, uh, we had somebody on the show a couple of months ago who has a, a concept th that's right now at the CAD drawing stage um, in terms of engineering that is an electric bike. It's a really cool idea. But, um, and they are trying to get the money to go into manufacturing. Until they get that money, they're out selling this sucker. They're all over the world. They've got dozens and dozens of distributors who have who've signed letters of agreement to buy and sell this stuff as soon as it becomes available. So they're not, that's the difference between the winners and the losers, is the winners are, are actually making it happen. Got it. All right, so a summating point then regarding this, um, you know, paper made from cane sugar waste. Yes. Well, this... Obviously, we have sugarcane waste coming out our ears on this planet, it, largely concentrated in a, in a couple of locales. So we don't do a lot of it in the United States, but coming out of the, the way they've been able to centralize this and, make, and use wind energy and, and all of this sugarcane, all of this, this stuff that is otherwise waste in India, 
Wait till you see what happens in Brazil. As you know, Brazil is, uh, they don't want gasoline there anymore. So they're, they're uh, generating um, ethanol from sugar cane. So guess what's going to be happening soon there um, in terms of processing that waste? It, this is a bonanza. Somebody's going to be making an amazing buck with this, and I want to be a part of that. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. You bet. All right. George Alger here with the Two Green Energy Video Report. Until we see you again.